Newsreel on Yalik here, Thursday, March 10th, 2022. Real news real quick. Several GOP senators are furious over the $1.5 trillion omnibus spending bill to keep the federal government open after Friday, which includes $13.6 billion to aid Ukraine because they've realized that less than two that they have less than two days to review the 2741-page bill, which they received only yesterday morning. Any one senator could filibuster to prevent the passage. The battle for Kiev rages as Russian tanks are within a few miles of the city outskirts, though Ukrainian forces repelled initial assaults to the west and east of the capital. A Russian colonel died in an ambush after his tank columns suffered heavy losses. The Biden administration will extend the mask mandate for public transit and airlines for another month, for, month from the March 18th end. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul said he'll force a Senate vote next week to end all mandates. The Republican National Committee sued the House January 6th Committee on Wednesday over a subpoena to collect information from Salesforce, a mass email vendor, accusing the Democrat-led panel with trying to get data on millions of RNC members as well as the leadership. A bipartisan group of 21 congressmen demanded that President Joe Biden give them more information where nuclear talks with Iran are going. They're demanding a stronger agreement with Tehran than the U.S. government made during the Obama administration and expressed concerns that the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps will no longer have a terrorist designation. There she is, Magnia Jufron, the most beautiful camel in the world of Qatar Camel Fest, who won a 200,000 pound prize in the beauty contest. Magnia Jufron beat dozens of competitors drawn from across the Middle East and had to undergo x-rays to prove that she has not had cosmetic surgery or Botox treatments. Major League Baseball and its locked out players ended their bickering and approved a new contract. The deal will save the 162 game season, which will open on April 7th, a week after the original opening day. And finally, Whiskey the Labradane dog cost his owner more than $8,000 by flooding the kitchen when he turned on a cold tap while his owners were out of the house. Aviva, a major insurance provider, has said it handles over 800 claims every year involving dogs, causing damage to homes. And that's the way the world is. See you next time.